What's going on, y'all? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. My name's Lloyd. I am not the single guy. So today we're gonna be talking about something that a lot of people have asked, and that's basically how to keep a girl. Okay, so let's say you start dating a girl. She's super fine. She's exactly the kinds of, she's sweet, she's kind. She's exactly what you're looking for, okay? And you want to keep her around. Well, what I've noticed is that when a lot of guys get their dream girl or a girl that they really, really like, they have trouble keeping her. They start doing things that aren't necessarily going to keep her around. Maybe if you read like, I don't know, a Cosmo magazine or if you read, you took advice from, um, you know, the, the mainstream media, they would tell you to do these things, but they don't actually serve you. If you, In general, for dating, if you take advice from the mainstream, you're probably going to have a horrible dating life. So I'm here to tell you the truth. I'm here to tell you what actually works. My advice is not going to be what most people say about this, okay? Now, a lot of guys, what they'll do is they'll buy her presents. They'll say, you know, they'll say, hey, good morning every single day. They'll show a lot of affection. They'll be super nice. That's not enough, okay? In fact, you don't even have to do that much of that stuff if you have this other thing, all right? I'm not saying those things aren't, aren't good. You know, they are good. But if you think just doing them is going to keep a girl, you're probably going to lose her super quickly, all right? What you need is you need to let her know that she's replaceable. And I don't mean actually tell her that's being a dick, okay? <laughs> You'd be an asshole if you were told to do that. But she has to know that you're attractive to other women because chances are when you won her over, you were attractive to a variety of different women, okay? You probably weren't just only attractive to her and only her. There's probably other people that found you attractive. You were doing the things that made you an attractive man. You were doing things that made you a high value guy too often. Men think that once they've gotten the girl, oh, now it's just doing nice things and cutesy couple things. And women love that shit. But what they really don't like and what they will never actually come out and tell you is that if you start slacking off on who you are as a man, they don't like that. They won't desire you if you start doing that shit. Women are biologically ingrained to try and find the best guy for them. And the best guy for them is not the guy that buys them presents every single day and says good morning and kisses them and cooks them bread, bed and breakfast. That's nice. Those are nice little treats. But, but if he's a guy who's overweight, who doesn't, who's not working on himself, who has a horrible job and is just like very irresponsible, those things will hurt you in the end. You know, it doesn't matter how many gifts or anything you give her. You're not a high value guy. So what I've found is that a lot of guys, they think that by doing those things that they don't have to do the other ones and they become better, bitter and resentful when the girl eventually cheats on them and she, she tries to find a better option for her. They can't understand why after being such a nice guy, the girl ends up leaving them, okay? You cannot negotiate with desire. You have to be the man that she wants you to be. And the best way that a woman knows that you're a high value guy is if other women find you attractive. If you can get another girl that's like her, that makes her replaceable and she knows it. And this is a weird thing about women. This is a weird thing about men, uh, men and women is that if she knows that there's other women that wants you, she'll get this kind of, they call it dread, they have this feeling of dread where they know they don't have you completely down. And that makes her want to sleep with you more. That makes her desire you a lot more. Now, I am not saying that you should go out there and just cheat on her a bunch <laughs> and, then, and, then, uh, and, then that and then that'll solve your problems. It won't. But you should be attractive to women in general, okay? You can't just take a break. After you get with a girl, you can't just think, oh, I'm done. I could just play Xbox for the rest of the time, give her a kiss every now and then, you know, maybe do some cute couple things every now and then, and that'll be enough. No, it won't, dude. You still have to work on yourself. The best thing that you can provide her, the best thing that you can provide any woman is being the best version of you. And if you stop doing that, if you give up, if you lose your motivation, you won't be that person anymore. I remember there's, we have a friend right now, and, uh, you know, he was dating this girl for a while, super pretty girl, um, and they were really, you know, they liked each other a lot, but he stopped doing the things that he was doing when they met. Yeah, sure, he, you know, he takes care of her, of her kid, you know, he hangs out with her a lot, he's a very nice guy, but at the end of the day, if he does not step up and show that he's attractive to other women and be the be the man that he's she's even like basically told him that you got to start <laughs> you got to start dating or being attractive to other women so i find you more appealing if he doesn't do that no matter what he does it's not going to work out 
So I know it's a crass thing that a lot of people would probably get mad at or maybe they'll dislike this video, but if she doesn't know that she's replaceable, if she knows that no matter what, you're never gonna be able to get a girl like her, do you really think she's gonna act right? Probably not. <laughs> So don't get mad at this the way things are. This is a good thing. This should motivate you to continue being the best version of yourself every single day because that's what's ultimately best for women and best for you and best for humanity. So hopefully women will always have this expectation of men so we can be the best versions of ourselves. All right, well, hopefully you learned a lot from this, you guys. If you made it to end, consider subscribing. Um, I come up with videos like this every single week. And if you're interested to get coached by me personally, there's a link in the description box below. So, thanks a lot, you guys, and good luck out there.